and Boom Talk, and welcome to another exciting episode of my Filipino adventure. And Ina dragged me down to the lake today because we saw some people fishing on the other lake. Hey, it looks like people have been out here, but it also looks like someone may have fell through over here too. So we're not sure if it's safe to walk on yet. I don't think it is, but she, let's watch her fall in the lake. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, that's the problem is the shorelines where the vegetation is, it, it tends not to want to freeze because of the, the heat caused by the protein or the, well, I'm getting a brain fart. Eh, maybe. It looks like uh, somebody, somebody was drawing, driving something out here. Well, let's see. Yeah, well, it looks like someone drove out here. Yeah. But we don't know when. And then see right there? Those are sled marks. And those sled marks are for uh, ice fishermen. Okay, let's see what it's like. Yeah, looks like it's frozen enough. Looks like some animal tracks here. Mm, Come on. Mm, could have been some ice fishing over here. There's some signs, there's little bumps and stuff out there. It's where people were ice fishing. Okay, here she goes. Someday she's gonna come out in the ice. Really? <laughs> it is, uh, I'm not sure how thick it is, but it's pretty warm today. <clears throat> and this uh, snow acts like an insulation, so. Yeah, so it looks like it's frozen enough. I don't know if I start poking holes in it yet, but it looks like someone has. So let's hope for a couple more cold days. I'll dig out the ice fishing equipment and come out here and sit on some buckets and see if we can catch some crappie and some bluegill and some perch. That would be nice. That would be so nice. Rianiti on ice nice. Okay, so you happy now we're on the snow? I think she drug me all the way out here just so she could make a video. <laughs> Keep going until it's ice. Huh? Keep cleaning it up. Get all the slush out. See, that's ice. Yeah, ice. Kind of slushy. It's really frozen. Yeah. Sometimes you get a nice fast freeze. You can see through it like a window. You can see the fish and stuff. Okay, I'm done. I'm okay, I'm here. No, I'm gonna to take pictures. Oh. You and if you're gonna get a Filipino girlfriend. Get be ready to be taking pictures of her and of you 37 times a day. Kentucky Fried Chicken with 11 secret herbs and spices and. <laughs> Ina is going for her first interview. She has to do this by herself because I'm not getting a job. You're getting a job. So I don't even know if I should walk in. Should I just wait in the car? I think you should wait in the car. Yeah, I think I should wait in the car. All right, so we have actually 20 minutes before yeah. 11. We're so, so early. So we're just gonna <laughs> you know, wait about 10 minutes and then we'll go in. Can they open it? Can they open it at 11 or open at 10? I know. Maybe I'll go in and get a, a chicken meal, a chicken breakfast. They have chicken breakfast? I don't know. <laughs> well, you're gonna learn. No, they don't have a chicken breakfast. They just got lunch and dinner. 
Okay, so uh, we will keep you posted on Ina's very first job interview. She's such an American. How do you feel? I'm fine. She's a little off today. I think she's nervous. No, I'm not nervous. She hasn't said very much at all today. I'm not nervous. I'm fine. I was just thinking how it goes. Okay. Well, so you've got your social security card? I have. You got your Michigan driver or Michigan ID? I have. And do you have your green card? I have. Okay. And then you're all set. And she's going to ask you all kinds of questions. And when Nina comes back, she'll tell me and us all the questions they asked. Okay. Got everything? I got it. Okay. All right. Well, we'll report back with the new news. She goes. Going for her interview. Let's all wish her luck. Break a leg. Here she comes. Oh my gosh, babe. What? How'd it go? Huh? How'd it go? Tell me all about it. No. No what? No, because I tell her that we're going to have a vacation. And she said no? Yeah. She said no higher? No. What'd she say? No, I'm not. I'm not tired. Oh. Mm -hmm. But you should buy me uh, black pants and black shoes. Why? Because I'm starting tomorrow. <laughs> oh, why did you lie to me? <laughs> black pants yes. and black shoes? Can you start tomorrow? Yes. How much an hour? Ten. $10? Yeah. Is it 8 to 4? Yes, 8 to 4. Monday through Friday? Yeah, Monday to Friday. But today I start... Uh, training. Um, Wednesday? Yeah. No, to tomorrow is Wednesday, right? Yes. So Wednesday... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then Monday, she said off. I think I'm going to work until um, Saturday and Sunday. Oh, you are working Saturday and Sunday? Yeah, but... All the time? I don't know. No. Monday... I, I will let... I will ask tomorrow again. Because I only see in that four days only. Wednesday... Well, we, yeah, it's because you're not starting on yeah, Monday. Yeah, Wednesday. Right? Thursday, Friday. Saturday. Then she said Monday is off. But I tell her that we're having a vacation this coming first week of March. Then she said, okay. So she said, supposed to be it's not because they really needed a um, worker. But I tell her, I will let you know earlier um, before our, before our uh, day of our vacation so you will know. Then she said, okay. So tomorrow you get the bag around 8 and then bring, wear a black pants and a black shoes. And I'll give you a shirt. Yeah, and then I will give you a shirt and hat. If you are feel cold, you can wear a black also, but it, it's black. I don't have right. black. So like a long sleeve underneath it. Yeah. Okay, so we got to buy a bunch of black clothes now. Okay. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. So <laughs> well, I, I told, told you. you. Fast food's easy. They I just, will really, um, I'm, I'm not nervous. I'm really confident today. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, that's great news. Yay! All right, well, let's I'm go shopping for some clothes. Oh, look wait. at her. Look at the American working. Okay, so we stopped by the Salvation Army, and we got her. She needed to get black shoes, black pants. And if they, if she wanted a black uh, long sleeve shirt to wear under her. Because it's a winter. Her, but if right. it's not winter, I don't need to wear it like this. So they'll give you a t-shirt, the KFC shirt, and they'll give you a hat. Yeah. But you have to have the black pants and the black shoes. Yeah. So, well, this is some sexy shoes. Let me see those shoes. <laughs> I look like, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so we got a couple pairs of pants, a couple shirts, and a couple pairs of shoes. And I think, I think those shoes were like $3. So while we were there, there was a sign yeah. said that they were hiring at Salvation Army. Because I told her it was so easy to get a job. She was going through all these agencies and stuff, I think. 
And I was trying to tell her, "What's just get settled in, get your license and stuff. We'll get jobs so easy." Oh, this is new. Where's your uh, application? This is new. Where's your application at? New car. Oh, so she got an application for Salvation Army. So we're gonna fill that out. But she's gonna give oh um, Kentucky Fried Chicken a week. See how she likes it. And if she doesn't, we'll go looking for more jobs. Cause it's but easy. if I'm going to work in Salvation Army, I will be broke. Yeah, because she'll spend all of her paycheck on... Uh, but they pay the same amount. Of, same uh, same, amount. Yeah, plus it says they have benefits. So, But they go through a background check. So um, it takes about a week. So we'll fill it out, put it in. And uh, there's plenty of jobs here in America. But then I was explaining to her... <laughs> That she'll make four hundred dollars a week before taxes. So after taxes, she might make around like, three hundred dollars a week. And she's like, "Oh, that's not enough money. <laughs> I can be work all week and only get three hundred dollars." Because I work for five days, it's only three hundred dollars. Oh my gosh, we we like that. Well, that's like I said, that's twelve hundred dollars a month, one thousand two hundred dollars a month. In the Philippines, if three hundred is only for one day. Three hundred pesos. Yeah. This is not pesos. <laughs> This is dollars. So you're, it's, a, it's equivalent of making 30,000 pesos a week. Actually, 40,000 pesos a week. No. 25, no, I'm sorry. 20,000 would be 400. Yeah, so 20,000 pesos a week. 